Alright, this is a reading for Scorpio. We're going to start off with um, the playlist for the week. Imagine Dragons, Demons, Adele Rolling in the Deep, Coldplay Clocks, Foster the People, Pumped Up Kicks, um, Jimi Hendrix, Along the Watchtower, um, San um, Jainton, The Broken. Um, so you can vibe out to those. I listed them below um, because some some of these things I cannot pronounce either due to my dyslexia or because I write fast. All these look like lines to me. Alright, anyway, as you know, you feel like the Page of Pentacles this week. It's not a bad thing to feel like. Um, ability to grow, potential, thirst for practicality, can develop into something better. So, you know, it's like blooming all over again. <laughs> I don't know how, how you'd say that, but it's like starting over. Maybe you're starting a new project. Maybe um, you have stuff that you're working on in your personal life, either in relationships or in just daily projects in and around the house, at your job, and whatever the case are. Alright, and we have the week's theme, which is the star. The star is reassurance. Um, you'll get what you want. Dreams coming true. Health developments. Um, hope for the future. Wishes granted. So... There's a lot of hope there. <laughs> like, you hope this week goes by well, or you hope something happens this week, or, you know, you have stuff that you're looking forward to this week. It is summer after all, so you're, you're kind of looking for that. Um, and then we have the challenge of the week, which is going to be the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups, um, yeah, it's Prince Charming, True Love. Knight in Shining Armor, um, Loving Intentions, A Trustworthy Partner, um, it's a very Libra Scorpio, so this could be you, this could be a partner, um, that has, um, Scorpio in their chart somewhere, um, or Libra, either or, um, or it could be a rival, um, that, uh, is either in your workplace or, you know, in your personal life that kind of comes on the scene through a friend or, um, just, you know, somebody that's kind of taking over, um, a relationship that you're kind of been developing for a while. Um, and it could be playing to, you know, your jealousy. Um, either through job, personal life, romance, whatever. Whatever the case, you you feel like your thunder is being taken. Your parade is being rained on. Somebody has taken your milk. It's a problem. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, so, we have the thing to remember this week. The Justice card. The Justice card, um... You'll get what you deserve for the better. Um, positive legal outcomes. Um, great contracts. Um, uh, commitments being made. Stuff like that. So you are kind of getting what you want. Um, and it's rightfully so. There's no argument that it's rightfully so on your behalf. Um, but this other person might be just getting on your nerves. It could be a minor irritation, depending on where your charts are and how, um, close you are to actually, um, the house of Libra. I'm not sure where Libra would be for Scorpio. I think it would be, like, rising, maybe, or first house, second house. I'm not sure. Everybody's a little different, so... <laughs> it probably would be the first house, or the, um... The rising house. 
if it was to be really um, to the point of um, a fist fight. So, um, we have lessons that you will learn this week, which is the Hermit. The Hermit is alone time for the better, gaining wisdom, um, independence, recognition for being different. Um, so maybe you have a talent, maybe you have wisdom that you're gaining from a, you know, your own experience, somebody else's experience, you can learn through other people, or, um, just recognition for something, maybe in your business life, maybe you're, you think outside the box, or whatever the case, um, money saving, probably, because Scorpio, money, yeah. but whatever the case is, you're being recognized for it, but you might be uh, more hermity than usual. You might be a little bit, you know, standoffish as far as accepting any type of reward. Um, which is fine. Um, then we have the gift this week. Um, the King of Pentacles in Reverse. The King of Pentacles in Reverse can be dogmatic, only does what is expected of him, materialistic, is overly focused on finances. So this could be a Leo or a Virgo. This could be in your Leo or Virgo house, or um, depending on um, how your birth chart's looking, um, it could be affected through those energies. But, um, yeah... There could be a few people that uh, kind of see things a little differently than you do, which is fine, but you, you know, you're either watching the till, securing the bag, or um, getting other things done, um, getting that bread, as they say. But you're getting things done. Anyway. If you like this reading, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, ideas for my next video, I read all those. Um, leave them in the comment section below and I will read those. Um, and it does seem to be a very financially um, driven week for you, Scorpio. I hope this was informational and, you know, everything goes well. And by the way, I do go back and read some of the older readings and Scorpio's, you know, it's a pretty good reading if you want to read those over again. Um, anyway, I will see you in the next reading. Hopefully everything continues to run smoothly. And, um, I wouldn't worry about your rivals, but I don't think they stand a chance. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye now.